the Cybex Gazelle S compared to the Uppa Baby Vista V2 stroller. These are two strollers that could go from single strollers to double strollers, but there's some differences between the two, and I'm excited about breaking it all down for you in these two videos. Now, if you are shopping for a single stroller or maybe a double stroller, that's why you may be finding this video, and you may have questions, but you know, I am here and my team is here to help you. We want to figure, help you figure out what baby gear is right for you and for your lifestyle. That's what we do. So ways to do that. Number one, you can email us your questions to questions at mbeans.com. Speak to one of our experts on the phone. If you'd like to pick up the phone, 617-383-8259. Or for the best way to have a interaction with Magic Beans, what you should do is you should book a consultation. Go to mbeans.com slash consultations. And you can do that in store if you're in Boston or anywhere in the country via Zoom. And without further ado, here's a comparison of the Cybex Gazelle S and the Upper Baby Vista V2. Here's a Gazelle S by Cybex and the Upper Baby Vista V2 by Upper Baby. Now, if you want to see the full review of the Upper Baby Vista, I do countless Upper Baby reviews on the channel, so you should definitely uh, click above and below and see a full review of the Vista because this is just a comparison. Uh, the Gazelle is new uh, for 2020 and it's Cybex's first single to double stroller. Um, the Vista main seat holds up to 55 pounds, the main seat of the Gazelle holds up to 50 pounds, but the second seat of the uh, Gazelle holds up to 50 pounds, but the second seat, the rumble seat of the Vista only holds 35 pounds. Um, both seats go in both directions, and um, also they both like fold really easily. Let me just show you the differences in the fold. Um, with the Vista, all you need to do is pull out the handlebar, push in these two triggers on the side, and you fold it down like this, and it stands on its own. Um, with the Gazelle, it's, a, it's like a multi-action process where you sort of fold over the seat like this. You've seen things like that before. It's folds similar to like a Nunamix and other strollers like that. Um, you have to pull the spacer with your left hand, push your thumb, pull, and you push in, and it folds down like this, and you can, it can also stand on its own. Um, and there's a little handle here, so you can put it in your car. They weigh about the same. Um, it depends how you weigh it. Just so you know about weights and strollers, um, they, it really varies. There's no standard for weighing strollers. Some stroller companies weigh with a canopy on, with a canopy off, with a seat on, with a seat off, etc. They're both about like 26-ish pounds. So they're both like not the lightest strollers in the world. You will definitely want to get like a lightweight compact stroller to go along with this, to throw in your trunk for vacations, for travel, etc. But uh, for an all-purpose stroller, these work really well. The Gazelle um, does not come with a bassinet included, but you do have a bassinet as an option. Uh, they do not make a bassinet stand because it's Cybex, so it's not sleep safe yet. Maybe they'll come, without, come out with that in the future. Um, as many of you know, you do get a sleep safe bassinet included in uh, with the purchase of a Vista, and then you just look this back up, and you are back in action. Um, to um, turn the Vista into a double stroller, um, what you do is you need to buy two different, well, you need to buy um, an accessory and, a, and another accessory. So um, there are these products called upper adapters, which you click into the uh, top level and that raises up the seat. Um, and then you get a rumble seat, which comes with lower adapters, lower adapters. So you add these lower adapters to the frame of your seat. Grab your rumble seat. Now the rumble seat is different from the main seat. Like I said, it's 35 pound weight limit. And you can see there's a hinge on the actual footwell of the um, main seat, but the rumble seat doesn't have a hinge. And like I said, you would raise this up with a, um, with a, with upper adapters. Now the, for the Gazelle, I also do a full review of the Gazelle on the channel. Um, if you want to stay up to date with the latest in strollers and car seats and toys, you should subscribe to the channel today. See, it slides right up like that. Upper adapter is basically integrated into the um, into the uh, into the stroller. Okay, so this is the main seat, which you can put on the bottom, and then you get a second seat. which you can add to the top. Now, in terms of stats, you can, I don't know if you can see this, but the 
Um, let's talk about like the length of these strollers. Okay, so from front wheel to back wheel, we are measuring in at 32 inches. And from front wheel to back wheel, we're measuring in at 36 inches. So it's about four inches longer than, the Gazelle is four inches longer than the Vista. Um, that has implications in terms of the way that they push. So this is just definitely gonna have a longer feel um, on the Gazelle than you would with the Vista, which just feels more compact and a little bit more nimble in terms of um, pushing it around. Um, I think the best roller that pushes in this class is a Demigro, a Nuna Demigro, which you can also see a review of on the channel. Um, but the nice thing about the length of the stroller is that you're able to actually turn the bottom seat around and have the babies face each other, which you can kind of do um, with this, with the, um, with the Vista, but the babies are just like too close to each other. But the nice thing of the Big Gazelle is that you can um, have the baby, babies face each other. A nice other thing about the Gazelle is it comes with um, car seat adapters included. Um, and with the Vista, if you got it up a baby Mesa, um, that has integrated adapters, clicks right in. But if you wanted to use um, a Vista with a Nuna Pippa or Savix Cloud Q or Kleck Ling, you need to get adapters um, as an accessory. But the Gazelle also comes with this really nifty shopping basket, which I just think is really cool. Um, so that you can sort of shop and put your stuff into the stroller, um, like I said, I do a full review of the Gazelle and the Vista on the channel, which you may be which you may want to watch after this video. Um, so please be sure to check out another Magic Beans video right after this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.